In this video, I'll demonstrate short answer questions in Adobe Captivate 9. On the toolbar, I'll click Slides, and then choose Question Slide or shift Control q if you prefer the keyboard, and then select Short Answer. Now, I want one slide, and I want it graded, so that's great. I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, the idea behind short answer tests is that there's a specific response that the test or the question is looking for. And it's similar to other types of questions, with the difference being that the learner, the person taking the question, isn't given a list of possible responses. They are supposed to know what the specific response is. So let's go ahead and see how this works. I'll go ahead and double click on type the question here. Create the JavaScript syntax for a pop-up that says hello world. Okay, so it's as simple as that to create the question. Now let's take a look at the property sheet. I'm going to go ahead and click on quiz and scroll up a bit here. Now, first and foremost, we want to make sure that this is not case sensitive. There are certain times where something like a short answer question is going to require case sensitivity. This is not one of those times. If you were talking about a properly conjugated uh, sentence with some proper nouns like people's names, that would be a good time for case sensitivity. And the thing about JavaScript is it doesn't really care about uh, case. So we want to make sure that that's not checked because somebody could conceivably type in a correct answer and uh, be told that it's wrong just because they used the wrong case or mixture of case. Next, I want to put in a clear button. So I'll check there. And then I want to make sure that there are infinite attempts for this one. This is one of those questions where you want to give the learner as many opportunities as possible to create the proper answer, the correct answer. So I'm going to choose infinite attempts. And then I'm going to go to the answer portion. Now I'm going to close the property sheet for this. Click on the answer portion because when I do that, notice how there's a pop-up here for correct entries with a plus and minus sign over here. It's pretty evident what these do. And then a case sensitivity uh, checkbox down here. So you can select case sensitive here too. And remember, we don't want to do that. So I'm going to click here and create the answers. So the first one, I'm going to make sure this is checked. And I click plus. Okay, I'll go back here. Alert. Now, the first possible answer is this. And I'm going to click here and actually create a third answer because I think there are three possible answers I would I would use for this. Alert. Instead of quotation marks, I use apostrophe. 